YouTube. Welcome back to another Market Watch video with me, Gear Swiftly. Hope you enjoyed the openings of the weekend because I actually did, and I really got actually really enjoyed doing this. So that also gives me a weekend off. I took some time with my family, which is nice. Um, which you know, no one's going to do. Just going to have a quick look at the currently expensive things on the market. We're going to look at Mega Tins. We're going to look at last year's Mega Tins, how they're still holding in value. We're going to look at uh, the two top two Chaos cards that are still massively expensive because they're just so. Not necessarily short printed, but obviously how they've uh, printed them, and because they reduced the amount of ultras per set. Technically, short printed them in that sense, in the sense of that they're obviously not as common as they would have been with an extra card in the pack. Um, obviously, there were issues with boxes as well, where people weren't getting like any ultras in, which is, yeah, it's really bad. It's really bad when you're just getting literally a box of supers. Um, yeah, and we're just going to go through some things that are so expensive. So, see you in the video. So! Infernite Ronald. Super duper expensive. As I said, none of these things are short print. If you brought a case, you were definitely guaranteed a place set of everything. That's £720 for, for a case, I believe. It might be a little bit less. Let's try and figure that out because my brain's not dead. Uh, da, 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 da. You pay you pay roughly about £50 pound a box. Um, so you pay about like £600 for a box. Uh, for a, pay about like £600 for um, a case of these. So yeah. If you want to play Infernoble Knights, kind of a free off. Yeah, you're kind of stuck here. I'm still stuck myself. I've still got my Infernoble Knight deck slowly being built. Um, and we're going to see some other cards as well in that set that obviously are needed for the uh, the deck. But yeah, know what you can do when your uh, two best cards. It's not, oh, wait, that's not the best card, what the hell? Anyway, anyway, ignore that. Uh, yeah, super duper expensive still. We pay that they asked for it for a little bit longer. The unlimited have been printed and they are, they are in circulation, I believe, in America. I haven't seen anywhere selling any um, unlimited yet on market for Europe. I don't know if that's because we haven't got them yet, or if people just haven't cracked them open yet, or if people are just holding on to them because they think they're going to be worth money. I'm going to tell you this now it's an unlimited set. The majority of the collector's rares have already dropped down in price. Don't hold on to your sealed unlimiteds. Crack them open. Hope you get some good cards. Put them on market. Try and shift the prices a bit more because you'll probably still get like 15, 20 pounds for uh, excuse me for an unlimited Renault and Immortal God Gearfred. Mr. Phoenix. Excuse me. So, can you even hear me? There you go. That's that better. That might be better. There we go. So, yeah, Mr. Immortal God Gearfred. Currently, 27 cheapest. Oh, sorry, 29, uh, 26 cheapest on here for English. Again, nice and short printed. But if you're only putting in three ultras instead of four into a set, and that's your highest rarity of that set, it's very bad economy. Please put four in. That seems very ch cheeky of you. Although we are getting clips rare more commonly. Now, very nice. Um, but yeah, again, this is a free of in the deck. It's non-searchable, which is why you want three of it in the deck. Or look if you draw two. Or look if you draw three. But yeah. It's getting a. Uh, if you want to play Infernal Knights, which in all fairness, for the majority, is quite a reasonably cheap deck. It is a reasonably cheap deck. It's not one of the more expensive decks. It's just trying to get a hold of cards. The, the biggest thing you're going to find trying to get something here is Smoke Grenade of the Thief. A super old card. What is this? Like, I want to say it's like 15 to 17 years old between the two. I'd be wrong, I'm not too massively sure when Dark Begins first got printed. But yeah, you're looking for like a good condition in English. You're looking at 17 euros plus postage. Only six days though from France, uh, from Germany. That's not too bad. But yeah, you're looking at least like eighteen to nineteen pounds for one of these. I was trying to get one myself over the weekend, watching the bids. Someone was selling two for like originally at like a zero zero bid. Went up to like twenty seven, I think, for the two. So that guy is making out like a thief, like a smoke grenade thief. But yeah, on eBay these are currently going for around about the twenty three to twenty five mark for one. So yeah, they're uh, quite pricey. Legacy of Darkness, great set. Cheapest in English here from a, a, a new seller is 15 euros. I'll tell you what, the card looks good. The card looks really good. I was saying to the wife though, I used to open all this stuff as a kid. I, I basically opened up a, a lot of things until around about the, I want to say sort of like halfway through like GX era, before 5Ds. I did get a few 5D things, but I, didn't, I wasn't massively into it at that point. As I was getting up, I was an old boy then. Too cool for school. Um, but yeah, I've probably got a 
three or four of these probably at home. Nan's home. All, all your stuff gets kept, right? Oh, so it's like, do I buy one of these, then find that card, and it's probably going to be like ripped in half and like chewed on by the cat. Oh. Red Eyes Dra Dark Dragoon. I hope you listen to me. I seriously hope you listen to me. And I said, you want to buy these when they're going for like £29. Because this is now your new market price. Do you want to know why? Because it's one per case normally. Because it's 50 cards, game printed, throughout a set. There's 72 cards you're going to pull from a case. So in that case, you're guaranteed probably one of each card. 1.44. You're pulling one card, hopefully. You're, hopefully you're pulling one from a case. Because if you're not going to get one from a case, if I pull one from my case, I'm going to be a sad big man. But yeah, you're looking around about the 42 here. eBay is roughly about the same price, in all fairness, so it's probably best if you just want to keep it there. Differences between eBay and this, if they go for the same price, will be your postage. Postage will generally be free on eBay, because people just want to get those sales out. you got to look at this. This here, this is your price point. It's still going to be a one of in the deck. Maybe you want to use two. If you look at uh, MBT's current deck profile for uh, some kind of weird, jank Dark Magician's deck, he had to use two, because he says, obviously, you used the first one, you need to get a second one out on the field. The only thing he didn't use is Magical Fusion. Sorry, Magical Fusion, which I would definitely recommend if you are going to look at playing a Dragoon in your deck. Just because if all the materials go into the graveyard, you can then res research them. Especially if you're only playing, like, two of. Pot of Extravagance from the Megatins. As we know, it's a Secret Prismatic Rare. Cheapest in English is 25 This is the price point that I was saying you want to pay for these cards. So, yeah, this is perfectly in keeping. Obviously, if someone can get a bit cheaper, carry on. But yeah, this this is the price point. 25 is where you want to be looking at for these for now. And then after release, maybe down to about 20 depending on how common they are. Again, it's a Prismatic. I think there's 27 Prismatics. You're only guaranteed one per pack. So if you're pulling a case, that's 36. So you're only guaranteed one per case again. Borrowed Savage Dragon. Same thing with them. These are currently going for... This is a great price. They're currently going for... Ultras are going for like 25 on uh, eBay. No, let's have a quick look. Just going crazy. Currently on here, they're going for, in English, 24. Yeah, if you need one of these, go get the Prismatic one. Definitely good value. They look really nice, in all fairness. They do look super nice. So, it's it's, it's worth it. Our post above the goddess. Currently cheapest in English is 6, 17, and then 18, and then 9, 18 again, and then 18 again. Yeah, that's a good price. I thought it was going to be about a £20 card, in all fairness. Um... If you have a quick look at its original printing, not in Starlight, because that will be worth money. It's currently sitting at around a value of 45. Yeah, hasn't shifted in a few days, but that's what I roughly expect to pay about £20 for this card. Obviously, it's getting reprinted again in gold alternate art reprinting very soon. So, uh, if you miss out now, you can always get it then. And then prices will start shifting probably a bit lower. IP Mascarena. Prismatic Starlight Rare. No, Prismatic Rare. We will lose a Starlight, remember? Yeah, yeah. Currently going at a market price of 14. Yeah, 14, 14, 14, 50. Yeah, this is the price point I want to see it at. I want to see it around about the, the 10 to 15 mark, which is great. And the Ultras are currently going for. We're currently seeing an Ultras. Cheapest in the English is 15. Your choice. You want a Prismatic, you want an Ultra, you go get your pick of the crop. But uh, yeah, this card has come down in price. I still think I'm going to be super serious about this. I still think there's going to be this in gold, maximum gold. But there's, I have no inside information. I've, I'm just thinking this is a good place for it to be. Same with the next card. Nibiru. Why gold? Why not? He's a giant rock from outer space. Make him gold. He's a good card. He's obviously... Okay. Um, yeah. This is your price points now currently. Has been creeping up lately. Uh, although Nibiru is kind of getting like forced out of the meta now. People play around it. People don't want to see it. People can make amazing boards and still get wiped by this and then carry on making amazing boards because that's just how decks are working these days. Dark Ruler No More. Still a fantastic card. Still a fantastic side deck card. Things like Warriors that need the extra uh, bump. If you can't afford Lightning Storms, let's face it, most of us aren't walking around with a, a wallet full of money because you don't. But yeah, cheapest English. Three here. Fives. Five seventies for a playset. Uh, yeah, it's not too bad. It's kind, of, it's kind of the price you want to pay for this. It's a great, fantastic card. Great, fantastic going second card. Just, uh, yeah. you want, to, you want to, I want to see more of this. It's a fantastic card. Barrel Sword Savage Dragon from the uh, 2019 tins. 11, 20? Uh, sorry, 
12, 12, 12, 12. Yeah, it's keeping some value. I'd see that. What is it? It's secret egg going for? Secret in English is 17, 50. It's not bad. So if you want the higher rarity, there you go. And then Battles of Legends, which I think it was also a secret rare printing, it was. He's going for 17, 50 as well. So yeah, so the Prismatic. Uh, the secret rares are keeping the same price mark, and then the ultra is just a little bit cheaper. It's what you want to see. Obviously, it's not a card that's used very often these days. There, there are I'm not going to say much better cards, because it's a great card. Just there are more cards that are used for uh, the same thing. So I think four. So what's I think four that we all want to see nowadays? It's going to be access code talker. I didn't actually set this up by the way, guys. This has literally come up as it is. So it's fantastic. I love, I love how my brain's apparently done this behind the scenes without me actually thinking about it. Um, yeah, you, you're paying out the Astros card again. So, someone got very lucky here. But yeah, this card's not going to come down any, anytime soon. It came out in Eternity Code. If you're lucky, you might get it next year as the Ultra. It would look fantastic as an Ultra. Uh, in the Megatins next year. But you're going to you're gonna wait another year for this card. I mean, we are still waiting for the Eternity Code Unlimiteds to come out. That'll obviously shift the price down a little bit for uh, the Unlimbs. But yeah, back in the day when I was saying this should be like a £35 card because it wasn't doing anything. But it was 40 and I said, you know what, if you really want it, pick it up now because it's going to go up soon. And then the following day, Ryan Hugh, god damn, what a championship with Sky Strikers. And that was it then. Price point shot up in the sky. Because the only thing this was going to be good at the time was going to be Salomon Great. And they needed something. And now, yeah, price point, push out. Bejazzle Dinosaur. Currently seeing a, a little insurgence in price. Not too long ago, this was around about 25. But, uh, yeah. Cheapest English is 35, yeah, 40. Apparently dinosaurs are doing something. I've not seen them do anything, but they're doing something apparently. Oh, that was meant to be Gearsu. Uh, turn to code. Just forgive me. Forgive me. And then, Gearsu make notes, so we did the top three. Cheapest English is 29 to 30, 30. And 32. Yeah, it's not a bad price for this. I'm glad it came down. It was never worth 100. People just thought it was like this massive, like, destroying engine, and it never was. Thanks for watching, guys. First one of the week. Uh, probably do another one, I want to say, Thursday or Friday. We are getting the Mega Tins in, hopefully, this week. So then, what we're going to do is we're going to do in packs. Of, we're going to do boxes of three over the four days, hopefully. So you guys have four days worth of content. And we can go from there. Fingers crossed we all get what we want from our Mega Tins. But, uh,. The way they've, the way they've like really weirdly done the uh, alignment of cards this time around is just made them really weird in terms of like how you're going to pull things. You've got 27 Prismatics. You've got 50 Ultras. I think you've got like 38 super, uh, Supers. You've got like 30 Rares and then like 70 odd like Commons. So yeah, getting what you want is going to be really weird I think, but it's, it should be, uh, should be fun. So that's it for today guys. Peace out. You enjoy yourselves a good Monday. I'll see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>